Hello, uh, my name is Eva, and uh, today uh, we're going to make moussaka. So you buy a nice long eggplant, and this eggplant is called Indian eggplant. It's nice and slim and long. What you do is you cut it into slices, one eggplant into four slices. So you put them aside, then you take a potato, because eggplant is limp, and when you serve it, they don't serve very well, then you have to put as a base, you have to put a potato. We take a pan, we put a little bit of oil, just about a, a tablespoon, then we place our eggplant. This is very big, so we're gonna put them all like this. And we're gonna put them in the oven for uh, 10 minutes, and then we're gonna turn them. So all in all, they will stay in the oven for 20 minutes. They will be pre-cooked. So we're going to do the same with the potatoes. OK, now we're preparing our meat. We put about two tablespoons of olive oil and a couple of cloves of garlic, chopped them up, about uh, half a cup of, um, a quarter cup of onion, a pound of hamburger, and we put it on to, uh, to get brown. Then we add um, a little bit of pinch of salt, a little bit of salt. And then we put a little bit of fresh ground uh, pepper. Okay. And we saute it. And it gets nice and brown. Fry the hamburger a little bit. Then we add about a quarter cup of chopped parsley. And about um, one um, half a cup, yeah, half a cup of tomato juice. Or tomato, uh, or a paste, or a tomato juice. Tomato juice that you cook, that you cook with. And you let it cook till all the juices are gone. Hamburger is almost ready, okay? The juices are gone and it's ready. So we take this now and we put it on the side. Moussaka consists of three things, of the vegetables, of the meat, and then of the cream on top. To make the cream, we need about half a cup of butter, okay? Half a cup of butter. And we need about, we need about, okay, about two-thirds of flour. So the butter is on and it's sizzling, so we add the, the third cup of flour, okay? Put the flour and we let it uh, absorb all the butter. You keep turning it, okay? And then we need three cups, three cups of milk. We got the butter, the flour, and the milk inside, uh, and now we just keep turning it till it starts thickening, okay? Uh, as soon as it starts to uh, boil, get to start boiling, it's gonna get thick. Then we stop and we let it cool off. Then we add the eggs. Okay, the sauce, it started to boil, it's thickening, it, it started to thicken it. But because, you know, life is not perfect all the time, sometimes it does get a little bit lumpy. So if it does get a little bit lumpy, very easily, all you do is you get your strainer and a nice dish, and while the, the, the cream is still hot, you strain it, okay? So there you are. We strain it, and then we get all the lumps out. That doesn't happen all the time. Like I said, life is not perfect. Now we are ready. As, as you see, that to make a moussaka, it takes a little bit time consuming, but it's really good, OK? So we take a medium pan. So we put uh, a little bit of olive oil on the bottom, OK? And with our brush, we brush it on. Okay. 
Alright. As a base for a moussaka, we're going to put our potatoes. Remember, we cut them very thinly and we cook them for 20 minutes, for 10 minutes on one side, 10 minutes on the other side. We take our cooked eggplant and we put it very neatly one after the other, okay? Like that. Then we have uh, about a cup of mozzarella cheese. We put it all over it, put it over it like this. This is Parmesan. I like a little bit of Parmesan cheese too, okay? Put it on. All right? In the middle, we are going to put a hamburger. Remember our hamburger, we had it cooked nicely and there was no juice or anything, okay? It's all nice and dry. So we're going to put it all over the eggplants, okay? Make it uh, nice and even. If sometimes, if sometimes the hamburger is, uh, you find the hamburger is a little bit greasy, like it has a lot of uh, juices and that, you can you can strain it by all means. Take all the strain it, and that way all the the fat from the meat and everything comes out. Okay. So we we got, like I said we got everything in. So now we're gonna put our eggplants on top. Okay. Finish them off. Okay. It takes a little time, but good things do take time. Okay. It's just perfect. Just perfect. Okay? Alright? We put them all on top like that. Then we put a little bit of more of mozzarella cheese. Okay? More of mozzarella cheese. We use a little bit of Parmesan cheese. I love Parmesan cheese. This is really a Greek Parmesan cheese. We are ready for our creme to put on top. But before we start putting the creme on top, we're gonna to put our oven on, okay? Now, uh, I'm gonna put it on at 325. That's how my oven is cooks the best. This gotta cook for an hour. So we got our cream. It's already cooling down. Freshly ground pepper. And we have three eggs, okay? Now, because it's not good to put the eggs straight in the bowl, in case of we get a uh, skin or something, so we do it one at a time, okay? We pick the eggs up a little bit, and we fold them in, okay? Fold them in the cream. all over. Tuck in the ends a little bit. And I like to top it off with a little bit of parmesan cheese on top. And I like to put a little bit of breadcrumbs on top. It gives it a nice color. It's all ready for the oven, okay? In the oven at 325 degrees for one hour. 